Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I sold this many items with this many listings on eBay over the weekend. Let's get right to it. So I always tell you guys to make sure you're picking up quality items and making sure you're listing every single day, all that good stuff. So instead of telling you guys, I'm gonna show you guys, you know, all the sales that I had throughout this weekend and hope you guys really pay attention because there's a mixed variety of everything we got some got a blu-ray we got games we got accessories cameras you know just all kinds of random stuff and for my store to sell over 40 items or almost 40 items 37 to be exact i think 38 um at the, at the time of this recording this is all my inventory that's listed some stuff in this bin this bin and this bin is about 90 plus items in my store and then we have, we come over here and we have some more stuff over here that needs to get listed. Pretty much this whole bin has to get processed. But the point is, you don't need a big store to make money on eBay. Um, so I'm going to go through some of these items. I'll pop up the sold and how much it sold for. And I'll tell you guys how much I paid. So let's get right to it, guys. Make sure you guys like the video, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'm going to be making a lot more videos like this. So we sold this PlayStation 4. We paid... 35 bucks for the playstation 4 and then like five bucks on the controller so about 40 bucks in shipping should be around you know 20 bucks or so so make some pretty good profit and then walkie talkies always keep an eye out for walkie talkies especially like motorola um and they just feel good quality nice and heavy um look into them but just look look up all walkie talkies when you see them so you can learn which ones are good which ones are bad um and these things usually always work um, from my experience so walkie talkies always a great great sell and then you guys know i love selling cameras and this isn't all the sales guys i think there's like 40 or like 38 sales i believe um but there's just a camera in there i'll pop the comp up and then this camera right here sold you know pretty quick for 75 bucks in stacks sq6 so if you're passing on like the film cameras or the like the Polaroid style um, Fuji film, uh, definitely keeping out for these. These things sell very good and very quickly. So that one sold quick. And then bed remotes. If you guys don't know about bed remotes, you know, Tempur-Pedic, Sleep Number, um, to name a few, these sell very good. This sold pretty much instantly. Um, I landed up selling this one and it got returned because it wasn't the right remote for their um, bed. But I landed up reposting it and it sold immediately. So keeping out for those ti 84 pluses these always do good for me every time i list these you know 39.99 free shipping they literally sell the same day and then brand new stuff every time i see brand new like product at the flea market and it's you know has a barcode i usually always scan it for the most part like this right here i paid eight bucks sold for 30 easy money Here's a nice little bolo. This is an Olympus. This is a note quarter DP10. This sold like literally in 20 minutes after I listed it. Sold for 25. I paid five bucks on that. Paid $20 on this camera. The model is EOS Rebel T5i. Untested with the battery. I just didn't want to have to buy a charger and all that. That's just adding more cost. Um, and then testing it. So I sold it as untested as is with the lens. And it's in pretty good condition. So for items that I'm selling as untested and as is, I don't do returns on. Um, and for some reason, if they do return it, I'll just refund them literally like 50% or I'll call eBay. Because as long as it's described properly and you describe it as it is untested, as is, and or what could be wrong with it, then um, you can con contact eBay and possibly just not even refund them any money. But um, that's kind of what I do with stuff that's untested and as is for parts or whatever. And then we sold some more cameras, guys. Sony Cybershot. Um, when you ever find like pink or blue, like different colored cameras, those always do good. Um, the colored ones. And then here's another good item. We got this uh, Xbox 360. It's like a network adapter. I always get like 20, 25 bucks. So if you can get them for like five bucks or less, it's always a good buy. Then action figures, guys. UFC figures. You know, this one's Conor McGregor. And it's sold for 25 and then when you find NECA brand like figures, always look into those as well. This one is Ch uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I think I paid like three bucks for it and it sold for 20. 
we'll get into those and i've been picking up like a lot of figures lately um, a lot of wrestling figures that i have here that i have to get posted like this whole bag right here is filled with with wrestlers so i can do a separate video on that like put that into the video next but um talk about wrestlers and stuff like that some really good money in figures so last couple of things i'll show with you guys is blu-rays like blu-rays do very good i always every time i see a pile of blu-rays i literally scan all of them you know because you just never know like this movie right here a lot of resellers are at the table and this this was just sitting there and it sold very quickly in like a day or two for 30 bucks and i paid i think two two dollars or maybe three dollars for it so very good mario kart always sells good rush for xbox one this one was brand new sealed i think if this one is used it's probably not worth it but if you do so happen to find it new it sells for like 20 minecraft on xbox 360 xbox one ps3 i always pick that up because it's just a fast seller call of duty so most call of duty games aren't really worth money but if you can find like the trilogies like the black ops trilogies the modern warfare trilogies and they're in good condition you can ask some pretty good money so as you see this one sold for 25 smackdown uh wrestling games wrestling games have been going up or they've they've been actually held their value for for a while but some have been going up i believe this one is one of them it's like a 20 25 dollar game this one did have some scratches unfortunately so i, I sold it um cheaper like 14.99 but if it was in, like mint condition i probably would have had no problem getting like 25 bucks call of duty black ops 2 sells for like 13 on ps3 i think uh the xbox 360 one's more desirable but still, you know, if you're getting it for a dollar, two dollars, still worth picking up if you sell for 10, 12, 13 bucks, 15 bucks. The Last of Us Part 2, I still need to beat this game. This is an amazing game, amazing series. The first one was great. Um, but yeah, this one I picked up for a couple dollars and sold for 20. Crash Bandicoot. Anytime you find Crash Bandicoot, PS1, PS2, PS4, always look into it. This one sold for 20. And then Sniper Elite sold for i believe 15 and yeah guys this is all the stuff that's just listed um so yeah guys this is proof that you do not need a big store to make money on ebay um so some little copies there but yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did please do me a favor like the video comment and subscribe hope you guys make some great sales and had a great weekend see you guys very soon in the next one peace out